Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, our task is to find the value of this quantity, given that x plus 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. To solve this problem, let us call this quantity a. Now we have that a is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Multiplying both sides of this equation by 2, we have that 2a is equal to 1 plus root 5. Subtracting 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that 2a minus 1 is equal to root 5. And squaring both sides of this equation, we have 2a raised to power 2 is 4a squared minus 2 times 2a times 1 is 4a plus 1 raised to power 2 is 1 and this is equal to here the square x square of the square root and we have 5. Rearranging this equation we have 4a squared minus 4a plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now from here we have 4a squared minus 4a 1 minus 5 is minus 4 and this is equal to 0 so we have that 4a squared minus 4a minus 4 is equal to 0 now we can divide through this equation by 4 when we do that we have a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0 but let us remember that a is equal to x plus 1 over x. So when we substitute x plus 1 over x for a in this equation, we have x plus 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 0. Expanding this, we have x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x. That is 2 times x times 1 over x. This cancels that and we have 2 plus 1 over x squared. Here we have minus x and minus 1 over x and of course minus 1 and this is equal to 0. Now 2 minus 1 is 1. So this equation becomes x squared plus 1 over x squared minus x minus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. Next we can multiply through this equation by x squared. x squared times x squared is going to give us x to the power 4. 1 over x squared times x squared is going to give us 1. x times x squared is going to give us x to the power 3. 1 over x times x squared is going to give us x. And 1 times x squared is going to give us x squared and everything is equal to 0 because 0 times x squared is 0. Now rearranging this equation, we have x to the power 4 minus x to the power 3 plus x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. At this point, let us remember the algebraic identity that says that x plus y multiplied by x to the power 4 minus x cubed y plus x squared y squared minus x y cubed plus y to the power 4 is equal to x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5. So if we multiply both sides of this equation by x plus 1, the left hand side is going to be x raised to the power 5 plus 1. And the right hand side is going to be 0. That is because multiplying the left hand side by x plus 1 is simply like this. But instead of y 
we now have one. We have one. We have one. We have one and we have one. So here, when you look at this, you will see that x plus one, that is this, times the left-hand side, which is this, because you can see that this is x raised to power four minus x raised to power three plus x squared minus x and one is equal to x raised to power five plus one, which is this. And of course, as I already said, the right-hand side is going to be zero times x plus one, which is zero. So from here, we have that x raised to power five is equal to minus one. Now we go back to this. You know that x raised to power 2000 is simply equal to x raised to power 5 raised to power 400 because if you remember from our laws of indices we have that when you have x raised to power n raised to power n that this is equal to x raised to power n multiplied by m so this quantity becomes x raised to power 5 raised to power 400 plus 1 over x raised to power 5 raised to power 400. Of course, this is equal to minus 1 raised to power 400 plus 1 over minus 1 raised to power 400 because x raised to power 5 is minus 1. Now, you know that when we raise minus 1 to an even numbered power, it becomes 1. So this is simply equal to 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So we have that the value of this quantity, when x plus 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, is equal to 2. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy such content. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.